hopes are riding on the American gymnastics team to do well in these Olympics. A key figure behind that team is a former Chinese medalist turned coach in the United States. CCTV's Craig Morrow takes us to Des Moines, Iowa for a look at the powerhouse that is Chow's Gymnastics. Gabrielle Douglas receives a send-off party at Chow's Gymnastics in Iowa before she departs for the Olympics. The 16-year-old gymnast won the U.S. Olympic trials and carries high hopes of American victory in London. If Douglas does well at the Games, it could go a long way towards cementing the reputation of her coach, Chinese-American Chiao Liang, as a giant in the sport. She has a very good potential and she is a, a powerful gymnast and at the same time she's very graceful. And, uh, on the other hand, she is very young. She is having a, a very possibility, potential to getting the Olympic gold medal. But uh, we have to be playing very smart, one day at a time, and to stay on top of the games. Xiao gained world prominence in his hometown of Beijing in 2008 by coaching American Sean Johnson to three Olympic medals and the U.S. girls team to a silver. This used to be an Iowa cornfield, but it's now the headquarters for what could become a gymnastics dynasty. A 30,000 square foot facility that Chow has spent the last eight years building and developing. Douglas is one of dozens of teenage athletes who leave home and move to Iowa to train with Chow. He himself won several medals as a competitive gymnast on the Chinese national team, and he knows well the pressures and pitfalls that young athletes face. Gymnastics they trained me who I am as a real person for real life. That is really I want to pass it on to my students. You know, they are dealing with the skills, learning the new skills or difficulties, but they are learning the skills for real life through the sports of gymnastics. Regardless of what happens in London, Xiao says he expects Douglas will also compete in the next Olympics. As if it couldn't get any better for the coach, he plans to have two other protégés, a 12-year-old and a 13-year-old who have won U.S. championships, ready for the Rio Games as well. Craig Morrow, CCTV, Des Moines, Iowa.